Hi, good morning. So in this video, we will be covering the conditional formatting and in particular we will be covering the following under this video. We look at the highlight cell rules. We look at the top bottom rules. We look at the data bars. We look at the color scales and the icon sets. Don't forget to like, comment and share with all your friends as well. And in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well. So I have the data which is already filled out in this Excel sheet. So I have the students who are mentioned from student 1 to 10. Then I have the, the attendance as well, the ages and the, whether the gender male or female, their grades what they have secured, A, A plus, B, whatever, and whether they are available today or not, and whether they are available on the particular day or not. So also I have listed down the task, seven tasks that we will be performing using this conditional formatting. So let's start our conditional formatting. So first go to your home page under home tab, uh, go to condition formatting. So let's look at what is the first task. So first task is we need to highlight those student whose attendance is greater than 90%. So this is the column right now. As of now, I have just have 10 entries. So it is easy to identify who are greater than 90. But imagine if this column has more than 1000 entries or 10,000 entries. And then it is very difficult to identify who have got more than 90%. So in that, those cases, we use this condition formatting. So we'll go to, uh, for the first query, hire those students whose attendance is greater than 90%. So we will uh, select this column, select these entries. We will go to condition formatting. Highlight cell rules, greater than this option. So as of now, we need those students whose attendance is greater than 90%. So we'll en enter here. Instead of 87, we write 90. So it shows there are five students whose attendance are greater than 90% here. Right? Okay. So also, if you want to change the color, right now it is showing as red color. So if you want to change the color to some other color, say yellow, green. So let's say we take it as green, green filled with dark green text. We can make it okay. So these are the five students for first case whose attendance is greater than 90%. Right? Now if you also want to check, uh, highlight those students whose age lies between 16 and 18. So we have next column, right? So these are the students with respective ages. So we need to highlight those students whose age lies between 6 and 16 and 18. So we'll go to again this column, highlight cell between option. So we will select 16 and 18 here. Right? You can also change as per your requirement, but as of now we are selecting 16 here. Now you also you can also give a different color to it. Uh, say red brown text something what also choose a different uh, custom as well for custom you can go to this thing uh, fill option I'm going to say I want to choose this one I click OK and OK so these are the one whose age is between 16 and 18 right let's see what do we as we have under highlight cell rules we have already seen greater than, same is the less than. So let's see another example. If you want to clear this entry, you want to condition formatting, clear rules, clear particular cell. Now let's see this example, first case, other way. Uh, if you want to uh, see those students whose attendance is less than 75% or yeah, even say 90%. We go to this column, say, less than we we'll select this column here and click ok i'm sorry let's do it again and let do cell less than first you need to select this thing go to this column less than then right say 75 percent so i want to see is there anyone who is less less than so uh, less than say 76 percent yeah is student 4 attendance is less than 76 percent 
so there's only one entry here you can click it okay so this way you can do the uh, less than also then is the between entry which i've just shown you for this case next entry is the equal to so if you know if you want to say uh, select this thing what is this click to equal to now if you want to see is there anyone who has scored 99 percent here click 99 yeah there's one and you can want to give a different color to it say yellow so this is the one right okay so now what is say let what else we have under highlight cell rules so we have seen greater than we have seen less than we have seen between as well we also seen equal to as well here now let's see the text that contains so for that we will take uh this query so highlight those students who got a plus grade so we go to grade a1 is this way we we'll select all this column we we'll go to this cell say since because it is a text it is not a number so we will take it as text here so we will say a so you are seeing uh, the both a and a plus are being uh, highlighted because both has same characters so you need to specify that you are looking for a or a plus only so we will select a plus here so you will only highlight a plus only in this category which is the last category here probably you want to go and give it a different color for your easy reference so let's make give you this yellow color here okay let's change this to bright this one looks fine yeah yeah that's okay so this query is our resolved in this case now next see what else we have now we have the date options okay so we want to see uh for that date option we will see highlight those students who are available today in class so we will not look at we will look at first look at this thing let those students who are available on a particular day so we will select this option go to the cell rules okay so we will go to conditional formatting go to date occurring so today is 3rd of march so we want to see who are available yesterday so this is this, this highlighted 2nd of march we want to see today 3rd march tomorrow 4th march uh, last 7 days so this includes your 7 last 7 days uh, last week probably it will only have 2nd march this week couple of entries here this way you can highlight the date entries as well okay so let me put this as on now we want to see uh, uh, let's see what else we have under this highlight cell rules yeah duplicate entries so we want to see uh, let me first clear of this thing go to conditional formatting clear particular cell right yeah so we, again we go to condition formatting for duplicate entries we will go to this thing uh, duplicate values right so if you want to click unique c c plus plus and b plus are the only values which have occurred only once here in this entire column they're unique values and the other one others are duplicate i mean they have other occur occurring more than once a is occurring more than once a plus b so these are occurring more than once so let's see we can uh, choose the unique option so unique option are only this c c plus plus and b plus right so i think we have covered everything under this highlight cell rules i have covered greater than less than between equal to text that country date occurring and duplicate values and let us look at the top bottom rules here right let me for that let me first clear of this all this condition formatting right now for that we need to see that suppose we look at this query highlight the top three and the bottom three in the attendance here so we'll go to select this thing we'll go to set top bottom rule select top 10 now since it's saying top 10 and uh, we also have the top uh, only 10 students so we reduce this number so we want to see who are top three 
uh, student in our case. So student one, six and seven are the top three in terms of attendance. Okay. Similarly, you can also see who are the uh, bottom three ten as well in your case. So let me first clear off this entry here. Clear selected cell. Clear selected cell. Okay. I will just select all these, and then I will click on bottom ten. One of my bottom ten. So these are the percentages. Sorry, first of all, let me go to for the bottom ten items. So I will select uh, bottom three. So these are my bottom three students who have less attendance. Right. Again, I will clear the entry for your uh, understanding. And I will go to bottom ten. Now I have the percentage column. Now, uh, if the management says they want to uh, know who are our top 25% students overall, so they will select this thing. And suppose you click on 25. So out of this, only two are the top 25% students here, out of total, right? And same case you can do for the bottom 10% as, as well. Okay. So we will see that. Let me first clear that. So we we'll select entire uh, this range. Go to this thing. We we'll see who are a bottom 10%. So if we want to see who are a bottom 30% here. So these three students are the bottom three percent here, right? Again, we will clear out this entry for for our next uh, analysis. So next, what we have is uh, the above average and below average. For that, we have these questions. Highlight those students who who are above and below average. So these are the attendance. So we will take the average of attendance. So if we uh, highlight this 10 uh, column uh, rows, we get at some total of 878%. The total of attendance entries, so average is around 88. So the query is, we need to highlight those students whose average is greater than 88, right? So we'll select all this column and we'll select who are our above average student. Since our average was 88, so all these five uh, are greater than 88, right? Similarly, you can do for the below average as well, right? So this way we have covered two topics, uh, highlight cells rules and the bottom, top bottom rules, right? Highlight cell rules all these columns and then top bottom rules all these columns. Next is the data pairs. So for data uh, for the data bars, go to under this option. So this way, uh, basically, you can just highlight the particular cells with the different colors here. So let me show you here. Uh, let me select all these columns here, and then go to data bars. So under this option, you can see uh, different gradients. Field. This is a gradient field option with different colors: blue, green, red, uh, or orange, blue, and purple. And similarly, there's a solid fill color as well, which is blue. Uh, then we have the green, then we have the red, uh, uh, orange, blue, and purple. So the it is something like let me show you one example over here. The maximum value will take will occupy the entire cell, and then with respect to this, others will vary. Okay. Uh, let me show you an example of this case. Uh, I will take the age as uh, say I will highlight all this with green. Now the maximum is 19, right? Now if I change this to say 30, you will see the others will vary accordingly. So, th so this is 30. So the 16 is almost midway of 13. It is almost half filled. 15 is just half filled, right? And if you say enter 10. This is the one third of this thing. This is the just a, a graphical or just a uh, you can say the in the from the bars to show how the data looks like. Nothing else. 
okay so so this is for gradient fill and this is for solid fill there's no much difference in this case so next we look at the color scales let me first clear off this all this so under clear uh, color scales there are multiple options here so there are around uh, 12 options here right so if you select first option it says green yellow red color that means the green will be the uh, the percentage which is more than more value have green color let me have show this by example here let me have that say it says green so the green will so since the 97 and 19 are more close to the uh, top percentages they will be as shown as green little less will be shown as your next yellow and then little bit lower side will be shown as red color this is how applied again let me look at this case here so here you can see there are 30 is the maximum value so it is that's why it is red uh, then we have the orange yellow value which is a mid value and green will be the lowest value or low values this way you can choose the different colors and with this colors combination you can figure out how many of you are red how many of you are, are blue or whatever colors you have chosen in this case say for this example you can figure out how many of you are blue okay only is one person only one is blue that is your one case how many of are white how many of are red right this is just for uh, representation of your data how it looks like in the form of colors nothing else we we'll just again we we'll clear out for this for next set right so for next set we have the icons so we have all these icons here again we will show this through some example over here select this uh, column go to this click on icons so suppose if you select this icon it shows going up no change going down so with this icon also right so if you choose first one these are the top percentages will be shown as up going up average or mid values will be shown as straight ones and which is low value will be shown as this one so with this you can figure out okay these are the ones who are almost not performing these are my champions and these are my mediocre over here right again in this case you can do same thing here you can select multiple any one of these you can also select the shape as well like green being this is a traffic light basically you can, you, you can use here green being the one who are the uh, maximum values yellow being the who are the mid values and red being the least values you can choose any one of your choice here right it depends upon the uh, criteria what you want to set again you can also put up the stars also here right okay so i think uh, i have uh, covered most of these tasks over here and uh, let's see if i have missed out something so i have covered under highlight cell rule greater than less than between equal to text that contain date and duplicate value uh, under top bottom rules i have covered top 10 items top 10 percent bottom 10 um, bottom 10 percent above and below average i have covered all the data bars over here gradient field and solid field i have covered the color scale as well different color scales and i have also covered the icon sets brief